is a little thick and some of these eyes are a little smaller. I had to get special needles for this thread. I usually use teeny needles. Yesterday I was talking with Flophouse Poodle about questions people ask or whether or not they even ask questions. This is very similar to the way we make assumptions about people because of the way they look. The skinheads and renegade youth in my block probably see me as a little old lady. How would they know that I have stories that could curl their hair? The spikes, anyway. I've been guilty of it myself. My friends, Michael and Babette, lived in Los Altos Hills and they were giving a dinner party. All kinds of interesting people were going to be there. I guess the most illustrious being Wallace Stegner. We were all out on the patio for pre-dinner drinks and I found myself talking with a woman. She had snow white hair and she was wearing a totally square outfit. A yellow double knit pantsuit. She had a matching canary yellow headband in her bouffant hairdo. It seemed like we were just sort of together for that whole period before dinner. And I was practicing my Zen, looking around at much more interesting people, but giving this my best shot and asked her lots of questions. We talked about her grandchildren, things like that, domestic things. And then we were told to go in for dinner. And when we went in for dinner, I found myself seated next to her at the dinner table. Now that was just a little much. I had done okay with the pre-dinner conversation. I wasn't ready to spend the whole evening doing this conversation. We sat down though and I surrendered to it and we were going along talking and suddenly, as we were waiting for the dessert, she just sort of let fall the sentence that reminds me so much of the time I took acid with Aldous Huxley. Superman never says, ouch. Outside of Zealander, I've never seen a black Superman. But I finally figured out the reason why. There weren't any black newspaper reporters. <laughs> <laughs> 